This was our first setup with a 23-0 soft shell rooftop tent. We've since moved to the eye camper, but this was a fantastic option for the pod trailer. Did a lot of research on rooftop tents and eventually chose the 23-0 Stealth. It's 1400 wide by 2300 long. Um, the reason for choosing it was the design. The guys have the patent on LST, which is light suppression technology, and that completely blacks out the inside of the tent. It's also very weatherproof. We've tested it now in high winds and last night in a torrential storm with hail. Not a drop of water inside. A little bit of shuddering from these windows here in the wind and a tiny bit of flapping from the fly. Nothing major, but you can always put two straps, one over here and then one over the back as well. Nice big vented windows. Stops a lot of the condensation. Another unique feature of the Stealth is this aluminium baseboard. So it's metal, not wood. I'm going to show you inside the tent now as well. It's the ladder. Make sure that the bulk of the ladder is up the top like this when setting it up, not down the bottom or it won't work. And we've chocked the trailer on one side just to make sure the tent is nice and um, level. You can also get boot bags which slide into the sail tracks just here. And handy pockets, a couple of brushes there for cleaning off the trailer. This one I face the other way for washing up items. Come up in here and we can see the vestibule also has this dark coating. Which means I can actually have this front door open at night and it's still really dark inside the tent. This just slides out and locks into place with these clips when you're setting it up. It takes all two seconds. It's a very fast tent to set up once you get the hang of it. Now unzip this large door and I'm going to get inside and turn on the lantern because you can barely see even with both of these windows open. Okay, we're inside the stealth. Even with the windows open and a lantern on, it is quite difficult to film in here and show you. This is the width. That's Maxon's little bed there with a the Spinifex kids sleeping bag. This is the other part of the crash pad sleep system. And underneath, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I actually have the 23-0 down trail blanket with a Tontine mattress comfort tech topper underneath. This is the mattress, it's quite hard. I just like a little bit more padding. And it gets a bit chilly uh, at night. It's eight degrees tonight, so that's why I've got the down there which fits across perfectly, as does the Tontine topper. So if I close up the window, get a rough idea of how dark this tent is. And I think it actually keeps the tent a little bit cooler as well. Turn the lantern off. And I might even zip this one up for the video too. So here we are with the front door open and it is dark. The only thing that woke me up this morning was the birds.